This video will illustrate how to use the TI-30XA calculator to do some of the basic statistics operations. Let's use this data set of 10 numbers that we have here. To enter the data, I start by pressing 4 and then this sigma plus key. It tells me that n equals 1 it means that it's reminding me of my sample size. So far my sample size is 1. So if I enter 5 sigma plus, now my sample size is 2. This helps me to avoid making a mistake without realizing it. Now, if I accidentally enter 7 sigma plus, when I meant to enter a 6, I can correct the error by doing second, second function sigma plus which means sigma minus, and that removes the 7. The n equals 2 confirms that it's gone. If I do 6 sigma plus, we're back up to n equals 3 again. Now I have 6 eighths to enter. A shortcut is to do 8 second 1 over x, which is frequency. Now it wants me to enter how many eighths? I press 6, the frequency is 6, and then I do sigma plus. Now it's saying n equals 9 because it just entered 6 different data values, all of them 8s. Finally, I do 9 sigma plus and all of my data is entered. To get the mean x bar, I'll do second x squared, and I can see that the mean is 7.2. If I do second divided by, it gives me my standard deviation. And since the variance is just the square of the standard deviation, I can just hit the x squared key and I get my variance. The sum of all of my data values is quickly found with second open bracket which is sigma x, and the sum of the squares of all my data values, sigma x squared, is found with second close bracket. If I want to clear all of the data values from my calculator's memory, I can simply turn the calculator off and then on again. You can see that the stat message has disappeared. This calculator is ready to enter some new stats. This is how we use the TI-30XA to do some of the basic statistics functions.